For many farmers in Kayunga district, access to markets for their produce remains a major hindrance to raising incomes. One of the main cash crops out of this district is pineapples, with hundreds of households engaged in both small and large-scale production. This often creates excess in supply, leading to losses, especially since several other districts in the country also grow the pineapples on a commercial basis. To circumvent this challenge, Kangulu Mira Horticulture and Vanilla Cooperative Society Limited, a body that brings together pineapple and vanilla farmers in the district, has welcomed a drying machine that will preserve the fruits for export to Europe. The intervention that relies on captive solar technology was set up by a consortium that includes Trigger Sun Fruits from Austria and All in Trade Limited, a local solar technology company, among other partners. This is running 100% solar, 100% renewable. That means we combine solar thermal heat, hot water, together with electricity and run the facility. So the heat is needed to dry the pineapples and electricity is needed for all other uh, auxiliaries. Pumps, fans, uh, CCTV cameras, IT infrastructure. And uh, we do also waste management, so bring the pineapple waste is then getting back uh, to the farmers as fertilizer, for example. On top of maintaining quality and hygiene, farmers are required to produce pineapples using organic fertilizers. For us, it's, it's very important that farmers do not use any chemicals to grow the plants because this will destroy their future. This is destroying um, the most important thing, that's what they have. Yeah? It will destroy the, the land um, and uh, you have a short success, uh, but on a long term they, they are destroying their bases. So it's, it's very important um, that we are strict on this because that's what we are standing for. It is going to address to the farmers that all produce are handled the right way they have to be done. Because what you have been training them is now coming out. Because you can't bring your you can't bring any produce to the facility if you don't have a code number. Those who have code numbers means they were trained. And they know the regulations, they know, they know the process, they know why they are going to supply. We have about 300 farmers, but not all of them are going to supply. Those who comply are going to supply their fruits. Under the arrangement, fruits will be sun-dried, packaged and preserved using nitrogen before they are exported to Europe, where a ready market awaits. According to Muhammad Rubawa, the chief executive officer at All Trade Limited, the intervention is expected to greatly improve farmers' incomes in the short to medium run. This can create extra income out of the farmers' uh, gardens, but also to give them an opportunity to work in the processing plant. So to us, what we've done here in Kangulumila can be replicated to benefit other agricultural value chains. Can it be coffee? Can it be vanilla? Can it be those involved in the fishing industry? So to us, this is a demonstration of a business model where we as energy practitioners can work with a community here like in Kangulmila who are bringing the pineapples, but also to link them to the market. Uganda is known for year-round high agricultural yields due to its geographical location on the equator and excellent soil quality. Despite this, poverty remains widespread. It's hoped interventions like this solar dryer will go a long way in uplifting farmers' incomes.